ridiculous. Vincenzo was supposed to take my shift an hour ago. Why might you want to murder me if I miss dinner again? Hey, Katie Frag. Now we're guarding the door. What the hell are we guarding anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of color. <laughs> 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 Eccolo! No, you... Get down! Now! Eccolo! You won't escape! <laughs> Keep your wits about you, Ragazzi. <laughs> Perhaps so you can help us resolve our problem, so Miss <laughs> We've got the finest dances. I can't do that. Get the best! You 
will feed you to the flame. Sia lodato, mi signore, che divertimento. Mm. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows. Or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Ma cos'è? Shoot! Shoot a flying demon! What's that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come. It's your move.
Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! I you. 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 He takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? 
Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Macerto. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <coughs> in a way, yes. Sister, and Ezio, you. you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. 
Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one! Who the hell are you? Get away from me! Stay back, or I will kill them! You think we are kind I swear it! Public service. It wasn't my fault! She left at me! She made me do it! Another one's blood will be on your hands! I want no part of this evil! Fresh caught leeches! Who requires the That's it. Come back any time. You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? 
This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori! This may be the eat. <laughs> Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies! Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time Step right up! Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition honks the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours!
We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! I've done what I could. Perhaps you should avoid the deeds that broke you. Who's Point. next? Step right up! Fratri. Welcome! Benvenuti! Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask?
Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campione. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. So that's how it's going to be, eh? of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Golo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that.
deal. Come, back on. Find thy wounds, noble signor. Let their mat be not in. No, please! I am a friend! Stronzi! Stupido! Vero, but don't you forget to love Perhaps you can help us resolve our little for problem, Messere. Eh? <laughs> hey, you look like you know how to have fun. Come, oh. gentlemen. Truly, have you gentlemen found the best ladies in all the città? So little coin for so much Come on, You look like you know what you are here. My lace, come. Put that down! It's a demand! Where is he? Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Find him. Now, now, where is he from? You are in great danger. Oh, man. 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 Oh,
Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doja Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Healing 
server. That's it. Come back if you need me. Here you go, sir. Mention me to your amici. Exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Ezio, Ezio, Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. There you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an, uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Barbarico for you. He's fled into L'Arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenaries, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? 
the committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. <laughs> 